many organizations, services to farmers and irrigation development. To achieve these objectives, ladies and gentlemen, planting for food and jobs is organized into five modules. And these are the four security modules which has now captured the headline planting for food and jobs, planting for exports and rural development, rearing for food and jobs, greenhouse villages, and mechanization centers for farmers. Thus far, the government is on the course to be delivering on all these targets. Let me share some information to Patrice this morning. Food security module. Available statistics on yields of selected food crops in 2018 compared to 2016 indicate increases in rains by 89% from 1.8 metric tons per hectare to 3.4 metric tons per hectare, 48% for rice from 2.7 metric tons per hectare to 4.0 metric tons per hectare, and 200% for soil from 1 hectare, 1 metric ton per hectare to 3.1 metric tons per hectare. The, this achievement was a direct result of the provision of subsidized fertilizers and certified control seeds. In Ghana, we are subsidizing retail price to the farmer to the tune of 50%. Never happened in West Africa before, and by far the highest in the region. Most countries in West Africa do not provide subsidies of these inputs. To date, over 700,000 metric tons of subsidized fertilizers mm -hmm. have been distributed to 1.1 million farmers registered under the food security model of DFJ. Farmers have also been provided with quantity certified seeds, totaling 26,000 metric tons in the three years of the implementation. And I ask you to add that in 2020, Three years within 26,000 seeds to farmers. This year alone, 2020, we are targeting another 26,000 metric tons of seed. That's how accelerated the program is to ensure that improved seed is the essence of modern technology, which is our farmers. And I'm talking about farmers. This kind of investment of small and opportunity sum in 2020. Operating no more than two, three hectares at the most. And these happen to be the poorest group of workers in Ghana. So socially, it's also very inclusive to ensure that everybody benefits from this. When it comes to livestock, there is a pilot at this stage. The livestock module seeks to attract particularly the youth and women into livestock entrepreneurship and ultimately ensure self sufficiency in meat production. Livestock covered under this module are sheep, goats, pigs, cattle, and poultry. By far the most important economically is the poultry industry. We, in, we import close to 200 million US dollars of poultry meat every year into Ghana. This must stop. So a massive program is underway to revamp the poultry industry. I don't want to bore you with the details, but it's coming up very, very strong. The other module which is of interest to investors is what we call the tree crop module. Under the Ghana Planting for Export and Rural Development, the Ministry of Agriculture is working closely with the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development through the district chief executive who represents the president at the district level to ensure that certified seeds of six select, seven selected crops are given out free of charge to farmers. And that's key is working, is really working like magic. Okay. 
selling few crops like cashew, coffee, oil palm, and rubber, coconut, mango, and shellac. This week, Chief Executive has been given responsibility to establish seed gardens and produce seedlings for distribution to farmers all over the country, free of charge. The target is to plant enough seedlings for these selected crops over a period of between six and seven years to produce exports worth at least two billion dollars a year for each of these crops. In other words, the aim is to generate up to $14 billion a year compared to only $2 billion which Coco gives us today. Government has so far distributed 15 million certified seedlings on the selected crops Thank you everyone to for watching. nearly 80,000 farmers across the country. Representatives of all the research organizations responsible for these selected crops have been constituted into an advisory committee in my office to evaluate and expand to evaluate an expansion program of their institutions to supply the needed planting material. A budget of some 14 million US dollars have been drawn up to expand the activities of these institutions to produce the needed quantities of planting material. I must say that this program is very, very popular and it's changing the whole structure of agriculture in Ghana. In the northern sector, which is Savannah, there's no cash crop, a tree crop. So, for the first time in the history of this country, cashew and shea are being distributed to farmers across the northern sector. And farmers are very keen in hearing in front of the offices, the district chief executives looking for these things to plant. And once we supply them enough of what they need, I'm sure that it's going to change the face of agriculture in the north. It will not only be food dependent agriculture in the north of Savannah, which are most of our uh, lands which are not cultivated, but also for the first time give them cash crop, cash into their pockets, 